Hi, welcome to Excel Video 75. Today we're going to talk about access titles. We've added a bunch of fancy things to this chart so far, and last time prettied up this collections chart title. Right next door on the Chart Tools Layout tab is this Axis Titles. Let's start with Primary Horizontal Axis Title. That's a little bit simpler. Um, right now you can see I have no title. I can always put a title below the axis. Primary Horizontal is right here, so my Axis Title, I could make it something like Physicians. That's as good as anything. And again, uh, let's go back and make maybe a little bit more basic thing. Now that I've got physicians here, what I can do is I can go back to the home tab and I could make this, let's go dark blue, I could make it several sizes bigger just for the sake of example, we could make it italic, we could do a lot of things, but there's my physicians um, axis there and obviously the more stuff I add here the smaller my actual chart gets, but that's okay, we're just playing with this to show you what it looks like. So um, when I highlight this, as you've come to expect, now right click is going to give me a menu. It kind of drops off my screen there. It says Format Axis Title. So what I'll do is I'll come over to Layout, Axis Titles, Horizontal Axis, and More Axis Title Options is going to give me Format Axis Title, which looks an awful lot like Format Chart Title did. We've played with fill a couple different ways. We've played with the gradient fill and the picture and texture fill. Let's do borders today. Solid line is pretty straightforward if we want something like that. Uh, and again, transparency, we could make it um, either 100% transparent so you couldn't see it or as dark as we can get it. Uh, let's do that. And then this border style, what I'm going to do, let's slide this over and just make this a whole lot bigger so that you can see. There's, there's how I set the color and that border style. There you have a couple of them. I could do something like this. And yeah, let's just slide this out of the way and close and call that good. And now I've got a physician's border there. And if you want to come back, right click format access titles dropping off the screen. The other thing you can do with that is a gradient line. And these gradients are what they they have some preset colors here. So we could do this blue sapphire thing they're calling it. And then linear means the gradient kind of looks like this. And again, if I slide this over, we'll do linear first. It wants to slide back. Let me look at this. So you could do something like that or, you know, something like this. It's going to be hard to see in the border because the border is just that. It's just that little area there. But that's where, I'm going to format access title again, you can play with the border color and the border styles. If you've got um, on this border color, if you do gradient line, you do radial, and there's all kinds of different ways you can format this. Rectangular looks like that. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can play with gradient line. It probably applies more as a fill in the background. Where it's just a border, it's not big enough to see a whole lot of difference. And you can go in and add stops and change things. And when you get to this um, position, do this. When you get to that position, do that. That's, um, that's a little more fancy than I've ever got to. But border styles will let you... I've got a round corners here, or I could do a bevel, or I could do lots of things in terms of caps. We'll make those round as well. And that's all I'm going to do to play with that border there. Now what I'm going to do is, it's taking so much space, I'm going to turn that off, and we're going to go over to the vertical side now. Vertical has a few more options, and I just want to show you what those are. Um, none is obviously where I am. And, you know, for the most part, you don't need a vertical title so much because, you know, it's a collections graph. These are dollar amounts. Pretty obvious that it's the dollars of collections, but I'm going to put a title in there in case you need it. Rotate a title looks like this. And what we can do is we'll just put collections in there. And, um, again, if I wanted to make that just a little bit bigger so you can see it, Again, I'm making, <laughs> I make my chart a little bit smaller the more I make this bigger, but I could easily do that. Change the color, change the fill, and some things like that. But let's move it around and let me show you what that looks like. Back to the Layout tab, Axis Titles, Vertical. This is a rotated title. Vertical title looks like that. It would help if I wasn't, you know, if this was maybe a little bit shorter, it wouldn't have to go on two lines. And Horizontal Title takes a ton of space because it, it goes this way instead of vertically. 
but that and then my primary vertical title option are the you know same idea we've done fill and some border color and border styles we'll play with some of these others in future videos and we're going to turn this back off but that's how these titles work it's easy to put a title under here if it's not clear what's in your x or your y axis there's some easy ways to put a title there and to format it make it look the way you want hope that was helpful for you thanks for watching